Elon Musk has an ultimatum for his Tesla employees. He says workers have to come back to the office full time or find another job. Joining us now, Fox Nation host Tyrus. He works 40 hours a week. Uh, yes, yes, that is the rumor. I, I will not confirm or deny that. Do you think that this, these CEOs show, yes. are in the place where they can do this now? They have to because boots on the ground, guys in the factories are already doing this. And when you're, when you're doing all the hard work and you look to see the, the, the leadership is never there, they're all at home and making Facebook videos instead of work videos and things like that, they need to, and it, they need to get back. And I applaud Elon for doing this because we're, not, we're getting back to work, but we're not seeing the same level of production that we're, we saw before COVID, before stimulus checks. So it starts at the top. You get those guys back in, you make them accountable, and it will trickle down. And we'll start seeing to where mm -hmm. people aren't frustrated with every time they get services. I just want to get one thing in there, because the, the, the data actually did show, and some, some employees made this case for a while, that production actually sustained and in some cases went up immediately after people were sent home, but that was with employees that were hired pre-COVID. Right. They were already trained in the office. They had already met their right. colleagues. They had already known the systems. But now hiring in this environment, they're noticing a drop in yeah, production. Yeah, because you can't maintain that. Because yeah. as long, the more you stay, if I could stay home with my kids every day, my gut filled stuff would not be very good after <laughs> yeah. it, it all be related to what happened that day. Like, yeah. little Georgie didn't do her homework. Again, you know, I, after a while, people would be like, yeah. It's, it well, funny. this email traveled as fast as a tweet from Elon Musk. <clears throat> Email number one. <laughs> Anyone who wishes to do remote work must be in the office for a minimum, and I mean minimum, of 40 hours per week or depart Tesla. This is less than we ask of factory workers. Exactly. Then he had a follow-up email. If you don't show up, we will assume you have resigned. So he's even making it easy for you. You ain't got to call in or give an excuse or write the whole, I need more time for family or whatever. So he's, he's making, he's be, I, I like this. We're seeing, we also seen it with Netflix. We're seeing it with other major corporations that, that we need to get back to work and it starts at the top. So this was a good call. This, this shows the example. pride he takes in the products he's making. Yes. It's, uh, anyone who wants to be involved, I think his word was like cutting edge technology or the way we're changing the world, you can't be phoning it in. Exactly. Now, there's another topic out of California on reparations. Well, yeah, what's like the story? Uh, you know, I want, when I first, at first, at face value, you're like, you know what, this is a conversation starter. Okay, I get it. Uh, I always preferred recognition than, than be given a check, just recognizing the wrongs and learn, we've obviously learned from it and we're in a good place today. But when you actually read the bill, it's more about voting rights for people who are in prison, for felons. And what do you mean? So they'll say that they'll give us cheaper for brothers, we'll get cheaper mortgage. We'll get less mortgage and lower taxes. But if, you're, if you work hard and you, and you pay your bills on time, you have good credits, so you're going to get a lower mortgage rate anyways. So then the other thing was, if you continue to read down into the bill that they're trying to pass, it was saying to the effect that it was trying to open up for felons to be able to vote if you're incarcerated which to me that feels what it's really about and it's just kind of one of those things those those woke ideas that sound good on the surface but when you get into it, mm. it there's no real teeth is this it. something that the governor would sign Newsom? Uh, of course he would because he's woke and, it, and it's one of those things that on paper it looks like this wonderful thing like oh we're doing this thing it's gonna be so great for everybody but then you actually read it it's not what it says it is mm. Tell us how you really feel, yeah. Tyrus. Just straight up, I don't need a check. Just say we acknowledge it, it happened, which we already do in this country, and move forward. Hmm. We shall. <laughs> you guys are shocked, right? <laughs> no, I just... Um, or scared to say anything. No, no, no not at just, all. We're just listening. I mean, this is kind of the reason why we brought you on, because, I mean, sensitive topics like this. I mean, yeah. people think that reparations are a part of American history and should be paid out to justify previous sins, let's say. Yeah, I, again, me, my friends, my mm -hmm. brothers, my family, and my situation, we all feel the same when we talk about it. Uh, a check opposed to recognition is, I, I don't like the idea of saying we need help, that we're not making it. And, you know, and that seems to be the woke message always. You can do it they on fight. your own. We can't, we can't take a joke. Yeah. We, we can't apply for a regular job. We have to be put in boxes. We have to make spaces made for us because we can't do it ourselves. And it's infuriating because that's not anything about Your African position culture. Is... We've worked as a group. We've worked our ass off for everything. Yeah. 
We've worked harder. Well, We've in the words harder. of the report, then, it says black economic growth and prosperity have been critically hindered by racist policies aimed at suppressing African Americans even after the end of slavery. So that is what it is meant to address. Again, like I said, if this would have came out right after Jim Crow, I'd be all for it. Mm -hmm. But we're a long way from that. And we're in a different place today. Well, what you're saying is history, it's done. Yeah. I, we, I'm ready to move on. I don't speak for every brother in the country or sister in the country, but Understood. from where I'm standing... But uh, the question is, are you willing it. to work 40 hours a day? <laughs> I never stop no, working. In the office. Yeah, I believe in, in the, the office. office. Yeah, well, I have an office at home. <laughs> and I have an office up there. So hey, listen, good I'm to in see, the office. Good to see you, and good luck to your Celtics tonight. We shall be watching. And I love yeah, seeing watching. you on Gutfeld. Oh, thank you. All Thanks, right. Ty. See you soon.